Hello, wind turbine designers at NTNU. In this episode, uh, we'll look at a possible problem uh, with um, blade uh, designs. And that is to have a too negative uh, twist angle at the tip. Uh, and the reason we're looking at this is that, is that it can uh, cause your rotor not to work. Uh, and th th this is a problem that has been observed in previous years. And I want to give you a heads up before you make your, your uh, rotor um, and suggest that you consider if this might be a problem for your design. So let's look at a, an, an ashes model here. Uh, we'll actually look at a full scale um, full-scale wind turbine model here uh, because the um, aerodynamics are in principle just the same. So you'll see the same effects in full scale as you see in, in uh, wind tunnel scale, which is what you, you're making. So let's pick the RNA only template. Uh, and then we'll do wireframe and uh, let's see, I'll, I'll run a loads only simulation. And I also set the initial conditions to 11.5, which is, should, should give an optimal CP. So if I start this now uh, and, and pause it, you'll see a typical uh, torque distribution for a well-designed blade. So you typically want to see a torque distribution that looks like this at your design RPM or your operating RPM that you have decided yourself, right? Um, so you want, you just want to see that the torque is quite constant along the blade typically and that, that the thrust um, force is increasing almost li linearly. You have a small drop at the tip here, and, um, and that's also due to, to uh, tip losses, which can be turned on and off. So we'll, we'll, look, we'll have a look what it's like without tip losses. So that's this parameter here. I uncheck that and I rerun the simulation and you see that it's even more constant now. So that's also something to you, you might want to look at, want to look at the uh, simulation with and without tip, tip loss. Um, okay, so which blade are we using here? Uh, it's the Enreal 5 megawatt blade. And what we'll focus on here is that it's the twist angle, and particularly the twist angle at the, the tip. And on, from the graph here, you see that the, the, the tip angle at the tip is very close to zero degrees. And that's typically what you want to see. Um, so the tip angle at the tip might be negative, but I'm suggesting that if it's more negative than minus two degrees ish, you consider why that is and if that's really what, what you want. Because if you have a, a, a twist angle at the tip that's more negative than minus two, um, I would suggest that there, you probably have done something wrong in your design or yeah, more, more more or less wrong. So and uh, but that's that's one problem. But the, the main problem is that if it's um, a very negative twist, which means typically means like from minus two to minus five or yeah, something around mi mi minus five, then uh, your rotor might not work. So um, what we'll look at now is to see, look at the effect. What, what, how would, how would it look like if you, if your twist is too negative? And we'll do that by changing the pitch of the whole blade. And that 
in effect is the same as changing the twist in your uh, blade file with the same uh, constant degree. So, um, first let's look at the, the benchmark here. So, at the, um, at the, when we have the correct twist at the tip, we have a CP of 51% here. And what we'll do now is change the initial uh, pitch. Instead of, instead of making a new blade, we just change the initial pitch. Um, there we go. And we set the pitch to minus five degrees. And we'll see what happens. You see that the, the um, CP is reduced to minus to 46 uh, per percent. But there's not that much to see on the on the loads yet, really. I mean, they still look quite uh, constant, although they, they are reduced a bit at, at the, at the, towards the tip here. We will not see the big changes until we change this to minus 10. Okay, so and this this is a warning sign. So if you have a in your in your operating uh, at your operating conditions at your design RPM, if you see that the that the torque loading is being uh, very much reduced towards the tip and even becoming negative, then that's a sign there's something wrong. And typically, it could be that the twist is too negative. We've seen that you can in for the for your cases, uh, yeah, a minus five is, is can be too much. So um, we will not. I'm not going to discuss why what could have happened in this in this episode, and nor am I going to decide uh, suggest what you do about it, except um, what we what we typically suggest is that you use your engineering um, uh, mind to, to come up with solutions that, that might, might work. Um, yeah, so that's it about this topic. Uh, so be, beware about a very, very negative uh, tip uh, twist. Thanks.